Regenerative braking converts the energy of deceleration into usable energy to charge the battery using the resistance of the electric motor. There are two different regeneration modes, automatic and manual. These modes are selected in the upper MMI touch display. From the home screen, select Vehicle, then Charging and Efficiency, and Efficiency Assist. Then select Automatic or Manual. In Manual mode, one of three levels of regenerative braking effect can be selected using the paddles on the steering wheel. The default level is coasting. No regeneration braking will occur unless the brake pedal is applied. Pull the minus paddle once for the first level of braking effect and regeneration. And again for the second level of braking effect and a higher level of regeneration. Pull the plus paddle to reduce the braking effect level. In either of these two regeneration levels, the vehicle will decelerate and the battery regeneration will begin when the accelerator pedal is released. The power meter needle will go into the charge zone, showing power is flowing to the battery. The charge zone will expand as the battery charge decreases. Full regeneration capability will apply when the battery has less than 75% charge. In automatic mode, the system uses the front distance sensors and map data to help choose the appropriate regenerative braking effect based on vehicles ahead. The steering wheel paddles can also be used in automatic mode to change the regeneration levels temporarily. The system reverts to coasting the next time the accelerator is lifted. In all cases, regenerative braking resistance will only slow the vehicle to a certain level. If greater deceleration or a complete stop is required, the brakes will apply with increased pressure on the brake pedal. Audi e-tron's regenerative braking takes advantage of energy that would normally be lost in conventional braking.